Kia ora koutou, ko isa toko ingoa. Um, I'm here to read a poem from Poetry New Zealand Yearbook 2020. Um, this poem is quite cool. It looks kind of funky on the page. Um, took a lot of formatting to get done. Um, this poem is called My Dream of a Non-Binary Prison. As of this moment, Aotearoa has no non-binary prisons, no unisex facilities for people like me. I could almost taste the toilet soap and hear the fragrant stream of water slapping the steel wall of the urinal, if not for the symbols on the door. My tūpuna would be so proud of how many have made it to these fine estates living on the land and the only way we know how weaving makeshift harakeke from matted paper rolls we dried with toothpaste and snot carving intricate geometry into the middle bars I have no place in the entire nation state where I can be clothed and fed the simple price of my freedom and my dignity if I push my phone far enough up my asshole, you'll never be able to touch it and I'll never have to call my family again. These closed spaces would bring me to Papa Tuanuku and Dranganui, churned up inside a gigantic mixer, returned to each other, their love cemented at last in the walls, then washed over brick painted white, wallpaper painted white, a face painted white, knuckles painted white, painted white, painting white, witness white, judge, jury, executive, white, but motherfucker, there is no place where I can be forced into a single cell for the benefit of my mental health, be taught my tea kanga, free of charge, where I can run bitten fingernails over the hem of the plastic mat, there is no safe place for me to die as a criminal.